The objective of this video is going to be to look at a sample soil. We're going to be looking at particle size definitions and we're also going to be looking at how we actually measure a soil. So first things are first, what is a soil, right? A soil, if we took a sample from the ground, is going to have all different particles, right? All different sizes and all probably all different chemical compositions, okay? In soil mechanics, we're not so concerned about the chemistry of the soil. What we are concerned about is this dif different distribution <coughs> of particle sizes. And particle size is actually the key parameter which defines different soils for us. So if I were to show you a couple of different samples of some of the soils we could be getting, we could be getting a soil which is, say, have lots of big particles and lots of small particles. Okay, so this soil compared to this soil would be defined completely differently because of the distribution of the different particle sizes. Okay, so we need to come up with a way of defining <coughs> different particle sizes. That's the second thing we're going to be doing. We're going to be looking at the particle size definitions. So this is a pretty um, accepted spectrum. I mean, particle size distribution is a pretty random and arbitrary selection, but this, this system is used quite a lot. So there's four types of there's four types of particle sizes, okay? The first one is a gravel. Okay, a gravel has particle sizes from 60 millimeters to 2 millimeters in diameter. These are all in diameters. The second we have is a sand. A sand has particle sizes from 2 millimeters to 0 0.0 Zero six millimeters. We then have <coughs> a silt, which has particle sizes zero point zero six millimeters to zero point zero zero two millimeters, and then the last one we have is a clay, which is less than zero point zero zero two millimeters. Okay. So once again, what's, what's not important is the actual composition chemical composition of the particles, but rather their diameter size, okay, and the distribution of that. But these are the four types of particle size in their range. So we've got gravel, sand, silts, and clay. <clears throat> okay, the next thing we're going to look at is how we measure a soil, right? How do we actually determine the distribution of particles in a sample? And how do we actually know the size, okay? So to do that, we're going to have to establish two new words. <clears throat> so the first one is fine. So we have two types of soil. We have a fine grain soil and we have a coarse grain soil. Okay, now we define a coarse soil as having particle sizes greater than 0.075 millimeters. Okay, and a fine particle is having less than 0.075 millimeters. Right, the reason we use this number is just because of the way we actually measure it, okay? So the way we would come and do this, the way we would actually measure the distribution of particle size is we'd get a series of sieves, okay? And we'd stack them all on top of each other, something like this. Okay, and then we'd be mesh, which is the sieve. And this mesh is all different sizes. Right, and it's going to be decreasing as we go down. So say this sieve is, I don't know, uh, six millimeters, this one could be two, this one could be 0 0.6, right? And the, the smallest we can ever get to is 0 0.075. So this is the actual key, key parameter in determining what a coarse and a fine grain soil is. So a coarse grain is defined as having greater than zero, a, a diameter greater than 0 0.075 because that's the smallest sieve size we can physically get to. So what we do is we get our soil sample, we throw it in here, um, and some of it, we shake it around, some of it will remain there, some of it will remain there, some of it will remain there, and some of it will remain there, right? And then for fine particle sizes, what we do is we use something called a hydrometer. I'm not going to go into the specifics of how it works, but it, it sort of works using water and the principle of suspension of particles. So it looks something like this, and we're going to be able to determine the particle size distribution of less than 0.075 millimeters. So once we've done these two experiments in the lab, what we can do is, is we can draw up a table which compares particle size which will be in millimeters against the percents finer. Okay, and all this means the same as the percents 
passing through passing through here. It's the same. It's the same meaning. Percent final percent passing through. Okay. So for example, say we have um, say we would have say six millimeters, two millimeters, zero point six. 0.425, these are just standard soup sizes, they're not random. 0 0.212, 0 0.150, 0 0.075, 0 0.05, and normally we would have 0 0.01, okay? <clears throat> so just for example, say 100% pass through, uh, 85, 74, 73, 72, 70, uh, 42, 19 and 10. I'm just making these values up, right? So we come up with this table, and this table compares the particle size to percents finer. And the final thing we're going to do, which is what we're going to be seeing in the next couple of videos, is based on this information, we can then come and graph something called a grading curve, okay? And all a grading curve is, it plots, a grading curve will plot the particle size. against the percents finer and it will look maybe something like this right <clears throat> and we could get all different curves so we could get a curve like that we could get a curve like this okay and you can see that all these all these um, curves represent all the different distributions of particles, right? So we, get, we have different distribution of particles, and they can be shown graphically using these curves. And based on these curves and the criteria we're going to be developing in the next couple of videos, we can come up with names of the different soils we have. Okay, guys, hope that helps.